and welcome to Currency Insights. And today we want to talk about high tech, technologies that make banknotes more secure. And my guest today is Dr. Manfred Heim, Head of Research and Development, Technology of Optical Security Futures at Luisenthal. Hi, Manfred. Hi, Sarah. Manfred, you brought us images of a chameleon. What does a chameleon have to do with high tech? Yeah, it might sound surprising, but a chameleon is a real expert in secure technology. You won't believe that. You know that a chameleon can change its color. And they do that by modifying the distance of nanocrystals in their skin. Sometimes they use it for camouflage reasons, but very often they also like to attract attention. And in our security um, threats, we are using similar technical concepts, mm -hmm. actually for similar reasons, to attract attention. So in our Rolling Star I Plus threats, we use the concepts of chameleons in order to change color. Furthermore, with our micromirror technology, we can combine this color change with optical fast movements of objects mm -hmm. in the same product, in the same thread. Can you tell us more in detail about that? Yeah, certainly, yes. The first um, feature that we have in Rolling Star security threads is the color shifting effects. Mm -hmm. So layers that change the color. And it technically consists of three layers. The three layers are very, very thin, so between 10 and maybe 400 nanometers. So here you can see this is really nanotechnology used in banknotes. And this combination of layers leads to the fact that when tilting the banknote, the color changes. So this means very easy to recognize. I see a color by tilting, I see a second color, but very complex in manufacturing. This is always what we were searching in secure technology, easy to recognize, very complex to manufacture. And uh, you mentioned three elements. What elements, apart from color shift, make this thread so special? Yes, the second thing in the Rolling Star I Plus threads is actually a very, very small thing. It's an extremely small thing, but it's a very, very big thing for banknote security. Mm -hmm. It's the micromirrors. With the micromirrors, we can create optical effects, so we can create objects that move on the banknote by tilting the security features. If you look on a Rolling Star I Plus thread, you find around 10 millions of these micromirrors, and each of these micromirrors has its individual shape, its individual inclination, and its individual orientation on the, on the, on the thread. You mentioned um, two level one features that are recognizable with the bare eye, and then uh, we have the level two security. Can machines recognize these threads, or how does it work? Yeah, certainly. The expectation is that a high-end security thread can also be detected by a high-end sensor. Mm -hmm. So in our case, this is the NOTASCAN MAX sensor. And in our security threads, we use a magnetic multicode. What is a magnetic multicode? In contrast to just using one magnetic material, we are using three different magnetic materials with three different properties. Mm -hmm. So for the experts, the different properties is shape, it's geometry, it's remanence and its coercivity. The remanence is more or less specifying the signal strength, the signal height. The coercivity is how the signal reacts in a changing magnetic field. Mm -hmm. And the geometry, certainly, this is easy to understand. It's the shape, it's the, 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 the size of the, of the um, bits. It is complex, and the material and the properties that we use for this multicode is not commercially available. You will not find these materials, for example, in um, data storage media like tapes or, or hard disks. And so this is not commercially available, and it's individual for each denomination. Thank you so much, and thank you for joining us, and do check out another episode of Currency Insights.